Are you looking for that perfect gift for the Potter addict in your life? Okay. Well, stick around. What the? Yes, you should stick around. Hey there, everyone. My name's Perry, and welcome to The Potter Addict. Now, I've told you that I'm married and that my wife is a huge Harry Potter fan, but what I haven't told you is just how spoiled she is. I like to buy my wife gifts for just about every occasion, and they're always kind of Harry Potter inspired. So today I'd like to share with you a few of my favorites. Now there are a ton of places that you can find things that are Harry Potter related out there, but I have found that Etsy seems to have the best creative people that uh, that I've been able to come across. So let's uh, let's take a look at some of these. For instance, now I found these flowers on Etsy and they are absolutely amazing when you can see them up close. Uh, each one of these is created from a page of, from one of the seven different books. And if you actually look at them, you can pick out little snippets from, from each one of the novels, which is really cool. Now, when these came, they came in a little bundle like this, wrapped in twine. You could pay extra to have it like wrapped uh, differently. I found, I had this little cup, um, you know, already, and I figured it was the perfect way to display them. And then I had them include a little special message that says, to the most magical muggle anyone could hope to spend their life with, always. I love you. So great little gift for somebody, uh, not too expensive, and she absolutely loved them. Now this next one is amazing because it's a notepad. And the way this thing works is it comes just like a, a little pad of note paper, even with a little pen holder in the top. And you can make notes on this, and as you peel off each little note, it reveals Hogwarts Castle. I mean, look at the detail in this. It's absolutely amazing. And one of the most inexpensive gifts that, um, that she's ever received. This thing is really cool, and Amazon actually has a lighted version now, so that it can light up on top of already being a really detailed Hogwarts castle. Good stuff. Now, this one, I thought was absolutely amazing. The, I'm not sure if this is coming through or not, but the detail of this is amazing to me. The fact that somebody takes and folds these pages to create a single word, I mean, is absolutely amazing. And they allow you to pick the book that she'll do it in, and obviously with the, uh, the Half-Blood Prince. I got this for, I want to say, an anniversary, I think, and it says always. Hopefully that's coming through in the pages. I just, again, Etsy, amazing, such creative people. Cannot tell you, I mean, honestly, a better place to find, uh, you know, inexpensive, sometimes expensive, but uh, fairly reasonably priced, how about that, uh, gifts. Now this one has a little bit of a story with it. This is a custom 
bobblehead. Well, not a really a bobblehead, but uh, that's what they call them. They call them, well, it's from a company called Wow Bobble, I think. And uh, all the descriptions for all of these will be down in the, uh, in uh, actually all the links for the descriptions will be down below. So, uh, but this particular one is the only company I could find that did a female Potter inspired uh, figure. Uh, obviously, I wanted to get my wife, and, and the great part about this company is they do a very detailed job of accurately depicting the face. I mean, the, the face is really close to spot on, and uh, I think they did an amazing job. Now, the only issue I had with this company is the statue looked absolutely amazing. The base, I mean, the base turned out amazing, but you have no idea the amount of rejections that I had to give to get it to this level. Now, they send you proofs uh, to approve all along the process, but, you know, before they bake it and send it to you. And if it wasn't for that fact, I would have got a statue that's amazing with a base that looks like uh, a child created it. Uh, really disappointed that that's what they were originally going to send me. Thankfully, they went through eight different revisions to give me this. And if you look, this was a Mother's Day gift. Uh, they added in a little uh, little message here that says, Most Magical Mother. So, uh, again, very, very happy with the way this turned out. Uh, and, you know, overall happy with the company. Uh, you just have to make sure that you give them the, the green light uh, and it looks exactly the way you want it before you approve things and have them send you out your, your actual statue. So again, very, very happy with, uh, with that purchase. Uh, thankfully, we could do some revisions before it was sent out. So. I saved the best for last. This one is by far the most expensive, but yet my favorite thing that I've purchased for my wife. I found this guy on Etsy, and he does each and every one of these by hand, and the sheer level of pride that he takes in his work, I can't even begin to describe. The, the serious black wanted posters that are scattered about the brooms the the details inside each shop the signs that sway the, the owls i mean the the attention to detail is absolutely amazing and then on top of that there's also again like i've told you before the thing that makes everything better there's lights i mean this thing is amazing the detail, I can't even begin to show you the detail that's encompassed in this in this book nook is what it's called. You know, it sits on your bookshelf in between your books and uh, I think it's absolutely amazing. The, um, the other feature that you won't see in this video is the fact that you can actually change Oh, well, there's the lights going on and off in, in the one store, but there are multiple settings. Oh, and there they go off all together. There are multiple settings that you can that you can do with the lights. You can click it on so that all the lights in the store stay on. You can um, choose a setting that will uh, randomly dim different stores, like you know so they're closing up shop. There's another one where all the lights go off and a different light lights up inside Ollivander's like it's uh, doing the wand choosing ceremony. Uh, I mean, again, the detail is unbelievable and this was worth every penny of what I paid for it and I would recommend this to any Potter fan. This guy's amazing, you will find him on Etsy and I would tell you that you, you definitely um, wanna pick this one up. Addicts, this is an attic must-have. Well, hopefully that gives you some good ideas for that Potter fan in your life. I've got a pretty good spread on pricing, you know, from cheapest to most expensive. Uh, so there's always going to be some options out there for somebody depending on your budget. 
I, I would love for you to comment below. Let me know which one of these you like the best. Uh, also, if you found something that I'm not showing, I'm always on the lookout for that next great gift. So at this point, my fine fellow fanatics, I think that pretty much wraps up another video. Please, um, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, click that bell notification, and as always, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.